Here's Twilight in two minutes. First, Bella moves to live with her dad. There's a small town named Forks. Then her dad gets her a truck. Your homecoming present. This? So she bites her lip. Then at school, all the guys are hitting on her because she's the new girl. Uh, oh, you're, yeah. you're, you're home girl. Yeah. 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 My girl. <laughs> Sorry, I had to miss it. She then meets this weirdly pasty white kid. That's Edward Cohen. <laughs> so of course she bites her lip. Bella nearly gets hit by a van. Sadly, Edward is there to save the day, and the audience is forced to sit through two more hours of Bella biting her lip. So Edward begins to stalk her. What's in Jacksonville? <laughs> How did you know about that? Instead of heeding a warning, she decides, oh, I should get to know him more. Then everything comes to light. I know what you are. See it. Vampire. Of course, then the only logical decision would be to hop on his back and run through the forest. I have a date with Edward Cullen. On their date, Oddly clothed vampires then appear from steam and decide that they would like to eat Bella. James is a tracker. The hunt is his obsession. I read his mind. So they battled it out. And Bella fights yet again with death. From a has been severed. She's losing too much blood. But apparently, vampires don't have any better luck than rogue vans, and Bella lives to see prom. In conclusion, Bella Swan has a death wish and Chris and Stewart can't act. <laughs>